What is up ladies and gentlemen, welcome back for another search engine optimization tip video. In today's tip video, I'll be going over review schema and how to generate these types of rich results for your website. When we talk about rich results for reviews, there are typically two types of review schema that come to mind. There is product review schema, which is your, what you're seeing on this uh, search results page on Google. And then there is also aggregate review schema. And this is commonly found on this type of search results page with businesses or local businesses. So I'll start off with product review schema that we can include. Luckily, there is this handy tool called Schema Markup Generator by Merkle. And all we have to do for this portion is fill out the required fields here. And so you type in your name, your brand, the description of your product, the offering, price currency, and the price of the product, and then any additional information that applies. I have also included my own URL that I've utilized this schema markup for. And so it just goes through basically as much as I can include for this markup type to generate this rich result. And so once you have marked up all the required information in the schema markup generator by Merkle, you would just plug it into Google Structured Data Testing Tool to test and make sure that there are no errors associated with the markup. And then if everything is looking good, you can then include it on your website in the header of your uh, required page or your desired page. On the other hand, there is aggregate review schema. And this is typically done from a brand reputation standpoint. Users will submit reviews about a business. And then these are often used by the website for improving their brand reputation. And so with Automation Chevrolet Dorel, they have 4,300 reviews and an average of a 4.7 out of 5 star rating. And so they're leveraging that information to then populate as a featured snippet or a rich result on uh, Google, rather. And so a couple things with that. Google has gotten very picky when it comes to allowing businesses to show rich results for this kind of schema. And so you have to have the reviews linked somewhere on page for people to navigate and read through. These reviews need to be user generated. So you can't just be making up a bunch of fake reviews and then adding them to your website. And then you also have to make sure that you can't go through and edit the comments or the other reviews to be favorable for your business. So for your website, you would just have to make sure that these reviews are linkable to maybe a master review page or that they're transparent for when Google goes to crawl your page or when users as well, so you don't get dinged by Google there to do a manual review of your website. And then you would then add this aggregate rating schema to your desired page. And so this would include the schema type, the ID, or how the information is being pulled, the name, so customer reviews, how many reviews are being totaled, worst and best rating on a scale of one to five. This is typically how Google ranks for their uh, rich results the rating value, so the average, and then the items that are reviewed. So the type, so your organization, and then the name of your business. So Automation Chevrolet Doral. So you just include this information as JSON LD code. And most businesses will auto-populate this information. So instead of going through and manually writing the code and then adding it into the header of your website, they will have the information dynamically changed because you're most likely going to have 
more reviews circling through and siphoning to your website. There are a couple of different brand reputation management tools that are available, such as Trustpilot, to make it easier to just kind of aggregate all these reviews and then output that schema markup. Whitespark is another one. Or you could also just create your own review system if you don't want to opt into a third-party software like Trustpilot or Whitespark. And for that, you would just need to make a reviews page and then populate that page with customer reviews. And then just add your review scheme up accordingly and then add it to the header of your website or just the appropriate pages you want to add the markup to. So that's how you get these review-rich results displayed for your website. Hopefully you found this walkthrough to be helpful. And if you have any feedback or comments, leave them in the comment section below. Otherwise, I will see you all for the next search engine optimization to video.